Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Bear here. I'm back with another tutorial in our costume design series, if you will. So the last time that I did a video on costume design, I showed you how to work with the body templates and I drew this general simple costume on it to this body template. Now I need to go back in and add some depth and definition and details because right now it's just the outline of the actual costume itself. So let's get started. All right, All right. so I've decided that with this costume I'm going to do a blue t-shirt and a black skirt and I really want to focus on the black skirt right now because so often when students uh, color in their costumes they press way too hard with the black and then they can't do any of the detailing so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over the black outline of the skirt remember go light my son is going to come from this side so this side will be darker but I definitely want Sun to come from over here so I want this to be lighter great so now I have some general color on it but I have no definition like we don't know what type of fabric is this is if it creases anywhere it's definitely going to have some creasing and some folds in it so right here you can definitely see that I had built in a fold so I'm gonna increase that right there give it some more definition because that is how fabric fabric doesn't generally lay straight um, unless it is a super short a mini skirt that's jean and then it might lay straight a little bit I also envision you know right here we might have a little bit of a crease and then right here a crease and right here so anywhere where that those ruffles kind of come down and go back up you might have a little bit of a crease and then you're going to contour that in to make it look like you have some movement into your actual design so it's not static. All right, there is the black skirt. Has some movement, has some definition where I added those little details at. Great, so now something else that I might wanna add in is maybe a waistline, because right now it's very generic, and so she might wanna have more of a detail here for the waistline. I mean, realistically, you could even make this area a belt if you wanted to, in which case, go bigger with it, right? Like, here we go, let's just give it a belt. Let's color in our top. I'm gonna to go with this light uh, blue color for the top. So same concept as the skirt, start off by outlining. So now I'm going to go back in with details. If you're not sure how to put the details on something, look at an actual shirt. So see, look, creases, crease is, creases, see, creases. We want creases. So let's build in some creases. All right, so there she is, the costume itself. And then other things to keep in mind is you could go back in and you could color in the face, color in the arms. It's always a good idea to have a full, complete look.
All right, everybody, so let's take a look at the finished product. Here is the complete costume look with color added. You'll notice it's really easy to tell where the sun is coming from, where the light is coming from. It's coming from this side of the page because this side is lighter and this side is darker. Don't forget those details. Don't forget the details of your creases of the fabric. Really super important. Don't forget to color in your hair and your bare skin. Don't forget to put on shoes unless your character needs to be barefoot. So there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial useful for helping you figure out exactly how to add details and depth and definition to your costume. We'll see you next